Hey guys, and welcome back to Omega Ruby. We're done with the battle resort, so now we're going to go see to Watson's problems. And I believe you can, like, activate this side quest, in quotation marks, after you've dealt with the whole, like, primal Groudon or Keorg kerfuffle over in um, Sutopolis. So just pop back here, and uh, you can have a bit of a shufty with uh, Watson. Well, it's less of a kerfuffle... And it's more uh, Groudon and Kyorg for Wii U and for 3DS. <laughs> I should slap you for that, but I'm not even mad. In fact, I'm impressed. Also, you don't have psychic powers to do that over an ocean, so tough luck. I, I can understand like making a kind of like light, but uh, isn't it kind of like counterproductive to uh, have it only go off when there's a problem, not when you actually need like light? Or is that just like massive headlamps uh, like above the people of Morville to do? You think if there would be a problem, they would actually have the system that goes, Warning, there is a huge fucking problem. Well, you say that, but there's an AI system apparently running throughout the complex. We've been expecting you. We have such wonderful sights to show you. Mm -hmm. My name is Sovereign. Now, I can't do the Sovereign voice, but fuck, it'd be great if I could, because that was like... <laughs> Oh my god, that was amazing. Yeah, Hell Dragon has a big man crush on whoever voiced Sovereign. I'd look it up, but I honestly can't be asked to uh, tell you the truth. Also, it was the super badass voice distortion. I fucking love good voice distortion. It just sounds great, in my opinion. This is Morville Hills. You can't actually access this section until you've done you know, the whole primal thing and talk to Watson. But there's plenty to see here. I'm not going to be going in every room, just a few select ones. And I'm glad you haven't actually watched this ahead of time, because you will love the ending of this one. And there's, like, another thing over there. See, it's like... You know, we got Jules and uh, John Travolta over here. They're about to knock into that apartment over there. Pay too much for anime figures. eBay's coming to collect. Real life enters the Pokemon universe. I like how you walk away. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> None of my business. I ain't getting in with a mob. Who do you think I am? Trevor McDonald. Do you think they have a mob for anime figures, I wonder? <laughs> Team Rocket, maybe? Do they deal in anime figures? I don't think that would be their business. They do more like drugs, really. The comparison I was making here was they're basically the mafia of the Pokemon world. Leave it at that. No need to analyze the joke further. He has a picture of Puzzle of Mine on his wall. That's a little weird. Although he probably made that in Pokemon Art Academy, which is okay. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Well, you know, Watson's got to get paid. New Marvel is prohibited. What, do they have, like, you know, reckless funsters going out in there? Did you just, like, take my DNA or something? No, he stole your soul. He took a photo. When you get to go to New Mallville, there will be a clone made out of your DNA. Oh, well, I have a shadow. The true self. Oh, no. Here we go. That would be pretty bitching, though. Like, forget shadow Pokemon. Shadow trainers. Dude, you should be able to fight the version of yourself from the alternate Ruby and Sapphire dimension that was mentioned in the Delta episode. That would be... Oh. That would have been fucking amazing. Yes, that is actually a really, really good idea. Man, I would have been all for that shit. Like, a separate side quest where you explore the alternate dimension. I'd be all fucking over that. That's great. Just throw that in my face. Well, I'm doing better than you are in life, so what's the deal? I'm not the tax collectors. You don't need to brag to me about your income. Well, you know what they say about a guy with two skitty. What's that, Hell Dragon? That he ain't getting any. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, you could buy a whale lord, you know, if he's uh, got too much space to be going on with. No, no, I don't think that apartment's rent controlled for that kind of thing. Oh my. Alright, let's go deal with this new Marvel situation. If you've played the older games, this won't really, like, come as a surprise to you. I think it's roughly the same thing, but it's been so long since I played the original Gen 3 games, it's all new to me right now, really. I don't like new Marvel. I've had old Marvel for a long time, and they don't really need to make a new model of this place, you know what I'm saying? New Super Marvel, bros. I wonder who goes to, like, the bike shop at, like, 7 p.m. I need a bicycle. I need it right now. I have a wedding to get to. 
Like, I'm always amazed when I'm, when it's like late at night, I'm driving past Books A Million, it's still open for like the coffee shop. And I'm like, okay, I get that. But then I drive past like fucking Pure One Imports, which is like this furniture place, and they're still fucking open at 9 p.m. Who needs furniture at that time of night? I need an end table right the fuck now. Okay, this doesn't look new. This, in fact, looks old. It should be the old Marfil. Okay, I don't need no Love in the Town-esque creepy music. Okay, I know this place is abandoned, but still. This is not a trap. I don't know what's down there, by the way. I imagine they'll add something in a future game. Oh, so that's not like a place you can access later? It's going to be DLC territory, I guess? <laughs> well, I think Watson was saying, you know, they dug down, but they you know, ran into trouble. And they're like, I should really pay attention to the ever-expanding backstory and mythos of the Pokemon universe. So they dug down, but they didn't know what to find out there. They uncovered, like, fucking, you know, Pokemon Satan, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they found a Balrog. It's a fire and dark type. Unlike Embor, might I add. Still not going to let that go, huh? No, never. Now, all we need is to get an Ampharos that we actually care about. Well, we uh, covered that in the Pokemon X Mega Showcase, and speaking of, we're probably not going to have a part dedicated to Mega Stones this time, but when we do the Mega Showcase, I will try and point out where each Pokemon's Mega Stone is, so you're in the know and the like. So, when are we going to find Robo from Chrono Trigger in here? Because I'd be all over that. <laughs> He's behind all these locked doors. Seriously, man, I don't like the place. Like, this thing is abandoned. It's run by a computer system. This is fucking system shock. I'm sorry. There are Volt Orbs, as you might expect in some of these Pokeballs. That's why I did multiple takes, to make sure I wasn't getting into an unnecessary battle. What a cheerful place. I'm so glad we came here on vacation. Surely you could make, like... You don't have to use the underground section, but it must be, like, work safe at least to uh, give it to the guy who, like, lost the game corner. Yeah, that's true. That would work, Al. Yeah, even if it's just to play competitive tiddlywinks. I'm sure he could make some kind of use out of it. Do they have competitive tiddlywinks? Well, they have competitive rock, paper, scissors, so I guess anything's possible. Yeah, when you flick them, they explode. <laughs> it's crossfire. <laughs> You'll get caught up in the crossfire. I can't wait until somebody else who has never experienced 90s culture like we have stumbles on that exact remark and go, what the fuck is he talking about? Oh, what, what an age to grow up in. I wish the computer would stop saying that they've been expecting us, because I am expecting a death trap at any moment. Assuming direct control. I'm thinking more like Skynet myself, like New Marvel becomes like the seat of power for Skynet, and then Power Rangers RPM starts and... Wow, these jokes are terrible. <laughs> Did you watch Linkara's latest foray into the world of Pokemon? Sorry, not Pokemon. I'm watching too much Pokemon right now. The world of Power Rangers. Um, wait. He got a low pun night? Wait. Wait. Oh, don't. I know where you're going with this. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, like, I know Pokemon has thrown in a little thing here and there for the older fam. I'm just... Trying to look out for all of you. <laughs> I've read that that, that J-Hall comic, okay? I don't need you putting any ideas into our audience's head. Well, too late. They probably already have that idea. Wow. Thanks? I had to train my Pikachu like 10 levels to get that. I, I thought this was a post-game thing, so that's why I left it until now. Boy, is the egg on my face. Things happen. You gonna explain what happened? No? Alright. Why is there a girl in your house? That's Watson's wife. No way. <laughs> no way. Fuck you. No, it's not. Come on, don't, don't fuck with me. I'm not fucking with you. That's Watson's wife. <sighs> Watson, buddy. I know you're getting on in years. Hey, but... if, the, if they're in love, who are you to question that relationship? No, no, I have quite a few questions, I'm afraid. Question one! What's the deal with the age gap? Nobody here? Alright, I guess it's mine now. Oh no, shit. No, I think you were right the first time, there's nobody here. Oh, okay, sure, alright. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> 
Now, um, let's head across the hall here. You may not have seen me do this, since I um, kind of, like, took care of it, you know, offline, so to speak. But um, every time you, like, beat a gym leader, and I think the Elite Four as well, that you, uh, n you need to do to complete this particular side quest, a new one of these guys pops up. So I uh, spoke to them in the Morville Pokemon Center, and just got them to come to this particular apartment. And, um... I think you need to talk to uh, the nobody guy, first and foremost, and then you talk to the guy in pink, you know, above the television, and then you can kick off the finale of this particular side quest. Wait, this has a finale now? Oh, yes, it does. Oh, I'm going to hate this, aren't I? Uh-huh. I have that sensation that I'm just not going to like what's going to happen. Prickles upon the back of your neck, oh, yes. The storyteller, the chosen one, the legend. Well, I'm sorry, his life isn't my responsibility. That sounds like a story trigger. Also, why couldn't you... Th this is padding, this is. You could have just, like, had this sequence activate automatically. Well, you bring your coffee while I'm out? Yeah, well, there's a vending machine, like, hiver and fiver. Clark can't get over here. I think he has glasses on, too. <laughs> wow, five people! That's more people than I've ever known before. That's more than zero. The storyteller, the legend, Giddy, the chosen one. Man, I am just, I'm dreading this. Like, I, I don't think I'm going to like this at all. <laughs> Sorry, when the bard stepped forward, all I could think of was Jimmy from South Park's Stick of Truth. Well, we're a terrific crowd. I am the shadow of the true self? What? <laughs> Oh, I'm just loving the build-up to this. What? What the fuck is going on? He's asking the questions we're all thinking, and they're giving the answers we don't want. I'm not even sure what the hell is happening. I really don't. Just look at their multicolored hair and be be satisfied, Hell Dragon. Roy G. Bib, what's going on here? Boku no Hero Acad Academy? I don't... What? Come on, just accept this deal from Satan. Reach out and take it. No, oh, no, what's happening? <laughs> Let the ceremony commence. <laughs> Should I be here for this, really? And the music just cuts out, and oh god, it's ominous. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is so... I shouldn't... You know, you were giving me shit earlier about that age gap thing, but come on, man. <laughs> Don't make it sound like it hurts! <laughs> They're not like exiting via the door, by the way. Oh, 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 <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, you haven't cottoned on yet? Oh, oh, oh. No, I think I have an idea, oh. and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Alright, let's make the final sequence happen. Max power! Broly! <laughs> Mr. Bonding, the origin. I'm just going to take a moment, along with the rest of you, to uh, process this. And then I am never buying DC Comics again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Pokemon, the new 52. There was a guy who was so hollow, he could let these other people basically turn into spirits and go within him. And all of them combined, their O powers combined, turned into Mr. Bonding. And now he's going to fuck off to a French-like region and uh, bond with other people. Got Ty? Oh, I told you it'd be worth the wait, mate. No, it wasn't. It wasn't worth the wait at all. In fact, you owe me. You owe me quite a bit. Oh, sure. That was amazing. Amazing in that sense of horrible splendor, like fire raining from the sky. It's terrible, but you can't look away. Terrible, yes, but great. 
Well, I don't know exactly how to follow that up. Well, we do have uh, another bit of Marvel history to deal with in the next part. So, try and put Mr. Bonding out of your mind for now. It's It's not happening. It's not happening. (laughs) If you can, if you'd let me finish. If you can. Flee. Run away from this terrible place forever. Run away from everything that burdens you. And we shall see you all next time.